So, this is paradise. If you can afford. Gentlemen, glad to hear you made it out of New York. Where are we? Olivia decrypted the Data 47 recovered from the bank. We isolated three transactions from Providence partner accounts. All made out to Haven, a small corporation operating out of the Maldives. And what does Haven do? To the public, they specialize in reputation management for the rich and famous. The real money, however, comes from the covert reconstruction of identities for wealthy criminals. They make people disappear. The partners are using Haven to acquire new identities. Yes. Olivia's been attempting to hack the Haven servers, but the owners of Haven are manually resetting the access keys every 10 hours. That, unfortunately, makes them targets. Haven Island is a true tropical paradise. Owned by the company's founder, Tyson Williams, the island is used by Haven as a combined headquarters and client entertainment center. Current and potential clients are ferried to the island and treated to the very best the Maldives have to offer. Michelin star chefs, a full massage spa, private huts, exercise facilities, and all the comforts of a luxury island resort are made available to them. 47, we'll be sending you in as a potential new client. We've put together a convincing cover story. You're Mr. Reaper, a thief for hire looking to disappear for a while. Your mission on the island is simple. You need to eliminate the three owners of Haven. Tyson Williams, founder and rumored tyrannical CEO of Haven. Ludmilla Vitrova, a former confidence artist hired by Williams to serve as a client recruiter and handler. And Stephen Bradley, technical wizard and the brains behind Haven's proprietary software platform. With the owners gone, Olivia will be able to penetrate the Haven servers long enough for her to secure the new partner identities. I've uploaded all the information we have on the island and the three targets. Best of luck, gentlemen. Hmm. I don't rely on luck. Well, a little wouldn't hurt. Welcome to the Maldives, 47. The Haven Island staff is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper, a professional thief looking to retire from a life of crime. Ludmilla Vitrova can be found in the public sections of the island primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen and working on a small private island. While Tyson Williams roams his large villa estate at the back of the island. This is it, 47. Eliminating the three owners of Haven should buy Miss Hall the time needed to do a full penetration and retrieval of the Providence partner data. Best of luck, 47. Ah, the mysterious Mr. Reaper. Welcome to our island. Thank you. Are you one of the owners? Yes, indeed. I'm Ludmila Vitrova co-owner of Haven, and your gracious host for this day. I suspect we'll be seeing more of each other today. Oh, I'm sure of that, Miss Petrova. Wonderful. Your late booking has me intrigued. In the meantime, our staff will take good care of your needs. Thank you, Miss Petrova. Come find me when you're ready, Mr. Reaper. 
I think we have lots to talk about. If you haven't been to your hut yet, I highly recommend it. There's a letter there for you, which you may find interesting. Thank you, Miss Fatrover. Mr. Reaper! Welcome to Haven Island. Oh, please collect your key to the private hut in the Welcome Center. Okay, enjoy your stay. Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven. Here is the key for your personal hut. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. Oh, and Miss Fatrova asked me to tell you that she has left a personal message for you in your hut. Have a good day, sir. Welcome to Haven, Mr. Reaper. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Oh, if there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm here at your service. A note from Ludmilla Vitrova. I wonder what she wants from you, 47. Regardless, it would be a shame to keep her waiting. Miss Vitrova. It's Tobias Reaper. I read your note. Excellent. I reviewed your file prior to your arrival, and I found it very intriguing. I have an offer for you. If you're interested, you can find me over at the restaurant. I'll keep it in mind. Wonderful. I hope to see you there. Mr. Reaper, so good to see you. You mentioned an offer. Yes, it's a little embarrassing, but we've had an incident, a theft. The thief is an employee here, a person working in Mr. Williams's villa at the other end of the island. What was stolen? A USB drive containing some sensitive information, personal information, which I would rather not fall into the hands of others. So, my offer is this. Obtain the USB drive from the thief without alerting anyone at the villa. The thief is likely still there. I can't get you inside, so you'll have to use that particular skill set of yours to gain access. Do that, and I'll convince Mr. Williams to give you a 50% discount on our service fee. That's a million dollars, Mr. Reaper. A generous offer. The information must be valuable. Mostly to me. It's very personal. Please call me as soon as you've recovered it. Very well. I'll call you. Well, then I would suggest... 
suggest you simply stay in the shade. Anyone found anything on the security tapes yet? My ass on the line here, you got it? Whoever stole Mr. Williams' USB key had access to the villain, but must be somebody working with him. Nothing yet. I've told the others it's the top priority, sir. Well. Damn. Review the tape, find the perp, and get me that USB. Mr. Williams will reward you handsomely for the fine. But more importantly, I get to keep my job. That's clearly the most important part. A thief in paradise. Someone stole a USB from Tyson Williams, and now the entire security squad is looking for it. Perhaps you should look closer at those security tapes, 47. Find the perp and get me that USB. Mr. Williams will reward you handsomely for the fine. But more importantly, I get to do my job. That's clearly the most important part of it. Okay, well, what are you standing around for? Go! Yeah, hey, bro. Voicemail again? Yes. Hello, Miss Vitrova. Just leaving a message. It's me. I... Well, I have the item you asked for. Or... I mean, it's not on me, of course. It's in my locker. Anyways, please come by the villa and pick it up. I really don't feel comfortable with this. If Mr. Williams discovers that I've still... Well, please just come and get it.
Mr. Williams isn't uh, looking too great. Do you think it's serious? What, like malaria or something? We all got shots before coming here. You got the shot, right? Yeah, sure, I got the shot. No, no, I mean, he's got fever in it. It's just the worst. Yeah, I don't know. Williams is a tough guy, but I, I don't think he's a regular guy. Mr. Williams, I understand you were looking for this. My USB drive. Finally, some good news. And the thief? Taken care of. Good. Good. I like you. Come with me. I'd like to personally reward you for your good work. Yeah, keep it real. Access to William's secret office. Good place for a one-on-one, -on -one, 47. Just put the sink back in the safe. Change the pin code. All right. That's that. I'll wire a handsome reward to your personal account, my friend. Or maybe... You know what? I have a better idea. Well, Mike, I guess at least one person in my security detail isn't a complete failure. This man just brought me my stolen item. You got anything to say for yourself? I, uh... I guess he got lucky. Lucky? Lucky? You get your things and get out of my sight! I guess you just got promoted a personal bodyguard. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Now, well, Mike's been getting on my nerves for months now. Man's got no sense of personal space, you know? This promotion is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for you. Make the most of it. Rest assured, Mr. Williams. I will. Good man. Your new outfit's in that locker behind you. I'm just gonna do some work in here for a while. Alone. Make sure nobody comes in. Yes, sir, Mr. Williams. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Two targets remaining.
told the others this is a top priority, sir. Well, yeah. Review the tank, find the perp, get to the Unbelievable. Make this up for Miss Vitrova, will you make it special? I'll make it unforgettable, Chef. Okay, here we go again. You know what? That delivery company refused to accept my package from Morocco. Can you believe that? I told them we needed the contents, as it's a pretty key ingredient in one of our dishes. The guy started yelling at me about how live scorpions aren't allowed to be transported, and how emperor scorpions are endangered. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, yes, perfection. All right, if Miss Vitrova doesn't like this, I don't know what we'll do. and Perfect.
Oh, yes, perfection. All right, if Miss Vitrova doesn't like this, I don't know what we'll do. Miss Vitrova, it's Chef Rampart here. We're plating it up right now. Excellent, see you in a few. Anyway, we also need to find a good way of getting those ants here alive. I had some in Copenhagen a few months back and they're just perfectly tangy and acidic. A real treat. Like like biting down on an overripe orange, almost. We go great with a sauteed tuna rice and soy and garlic. Chef Rampart, just I'm looking forward to seeing the new dish. Is it ready yet? Please don't tell me you're trying to put right, ants there. back on the menu. Nobody liked the ants. So, Miss Vitrova, here it is. Please enjoy. I think you'll find this to be very special. Okay, I'm rather speechless. Oh. <coughs> Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Just one more target to go. Hey, do you have anything to do with this? Look at me when I'm talking to you. That's it. You're in trouble now. That is clearly illegal. Okay, step back. I'll go and check. Looks like we got a serious accident on our hands. Stephen Bradley likes to go on water scooters, but is unable to go out because the scuba instructor confiscated his keys. Shame. Those things are very accident-prone. The scuba instructor grabbed his keys and won't give them back to him. I haven't heard them talk.
Mr. Bradley, are these yours? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for those. You just made my day. I am gonna tear the sea a new one. Thanks, buddy. My pleasure. All right, let's see how well Mr. Bradley controls that water scooter of his. Moving on. Okay. If there's anyone here, give yourself up or get ready to face the music. Dad report. Give it to me. All is quiet, sir. Okay. I think we're good.
That Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. That's all we need to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work. How was your time in paradise? Productive. Right. We should hear from the others soon. We're in. Whatever your robot did back on the island, it worked. Let's see. Yeah, here we are. You found them? Yeah, right here. But... No, wait a minute. Something's off. See here? All those controlling shares, those are basically the backbone of the Providence Empire, but... but they're not going to the new partner identities. What do you mean? I mean, they're allocated to someone else. Everything is. The partners are, are left with no real control. Who is Arthur Edwards? Message from Olivia. Everything's going to plan. We know where the partners are. We have our targets. You're almost there, old friend. Feels... good, doesn't it? We should head out before the storm hits. Time to fulfill our purpose, 47 to take them all down. 